Of all the science fiction on television, the 2005 reboot of Battlestar Galactica is my favorite, and I was almost too snobbish to give it a chance. Hey y'all, welcome to Dots and Beyond. If you're new here, my name is Beth, and this is my work journal setup for April 2021. I have a little bit of gold wash paint to shimmer things up during this setup just a little, otherwise we're going to keep it pretty monochromatic with grays and blacks and white. Here in my work journal for 2021, I have been celebrating my favorite science fiction movies and television shows. January was Arrival, February was Star Wars, March we did Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and now I am diving into a spread that I've known I wanted to do since I decided on this concept, and that is Battlestar Galactica. And in each of these, I have piggybacked off of a favorite quote or phrase from that particular show or movie, and in this particular case, it is, what do you hear Starbuck? And her response, nothing but the rain. All right, let's get started. My work journal is an A5 Archer and Olive journal with a black cover and a silver constellation of Capricorn on the cover. I chose that Capricorn cover to represent Caprica from Battlestar Galactica and the 12 colonies. So here we sort of come full circle as I make it into April and do my Battlestar Galactica spread. Along with the journal, I will be using Pigma Microns in a 1 point, a 0 0.08, a 0 0.05, and a 0 0.03, as well as a Uniball Gold Gel Pen, and some gold gouache paint from Artist Loft that I picked up at Michael's. It's not the greatest quality, but it's definitely going to get the job done for me today. I also have a selection of monochromatic Tombows on hand and I will link those as well as the rest of my supplies in the description box below so make sure and check that out. Even though I start off with everything sketched out, here you see me go ahead and make a mistake right off the bat in getting this signature quote into place um, and I will have to come back and fix that H and I on nothing with a little bit of white gel pen through the course of the video just to clean up that little mistake that I made. I always do keep a white gel pen on hand for this specific purpose. You'll notice this is also a very simple block font. I don't tend to use a lot of calligraphy in my setups. This is twofold, one being that I am not a huge fan of what a former coworker once called the swirly swoo fonts. Um, I will use them on occasion um, if it fits the theme, but for the most part I do stick with some print or very simple cursive. I do love to look at spreads that have elaborate calligraphy on them. They're just not something that I am ready to dive into doing in my own journal at this time. For the block lettering, I am using the 1.0 Pigma Micron, so it has a fairly thick line. Um, and then I am thickening up some of the downstrokes just a little um, to give it a little bit of that faux calligraphy look and give it some more dimension and depth. Um, and here I am using that same micron to put the drops for my raindrops um, and outline those. I had more on the page and then I had to edit some out, take some away, add some in to kind of get the right dimensions for how I wanted this page to look and it yet not be too crowded. If you're not familiar with Battlestar Galactica, the beginning of the show does drop you right into the middle of the action as the Cylons, an old enemy of humanity, actually created by humanity, resurface after a number of years. They annihilate the 12 colonies, and the Battlestar Galactica, a ship that was about to be retired, then must protect a small civilian fleet, the last of humanity, as they try to find the fabled 13th colony, which happens to be Earth. Most of my imagery centers around my favorite character who has the call sign of Starbuck. I am old enough to remember the Starbuck of the 70s television show who was played by Dirk Benedict, a man. And then of course Starbuck in the reboot is a cigar smoking fighting woman named Kara Thrace. She is played by Katie Sackhoff and she is one of my favorite characters in science fiction. 
and I can guarantee you she's going to make an appearance in my fierce fictional female series that I'm doing in my personal journal so I will link that in the description box below so you can follow along with that series as well. So there in the largest raindrop I have sketched the silhouette of a Cylon Raider. Starbuck of course famously goes up against a Cylon Raider by the name of Scar multiple times and so I definitely wanted to get a Cylon Raider into my imagery. And then this particular raindrop has got a Cylon helmet built into it. Some of these I'm doing in black, some of them I'm going to do in gold or a combination of to get the final effect that I want. Here you'll see I keep a black post-it note nearby when I need to give my gel pens a kickstart. And there we go, had to get that gold one rolling before we could use it. And here over on the right with that gold shell pen, I am doing a very simple sketch of Starbucks tattoo. Um, this is a tattoo that I actually intend to probably get one day. I have a particular goal in mind that I'm not quite going to reveal yet that I have to meet before I allow myself to get that tattoo. Um, but I am putting the gold gel pen down first and then I will make that a black raindrop and what will happen is that the Tombow will actually separate itself around the gold shell pen and leave it in place. I will come back in and brighten it up a little bit um, but putting the gold gel pen down first makes it easy to just color over with the black and keep on moving. The colonial counterpart to the Cylon Raider, of course, is the Viper, and that is what Starbuck pilots, and so I definitely wanted to get a Viper into the spread. And here I am sketching it out along with some of the elements that you would normally see on the Viper, and then I do decide to come along and just fill it in like a silhouette as I did the Cylon Raider because I didn't really love the way that it was looking. I can have the best laid plans coming into my spreads and very often something changes and I just go with the flow. I've learned to not stick to my plan 100% if it's not working for me and that's the great thing about a bullet journal is that you can definitely make it your own and you can definitely change it as you need to. And like I said, you can come along after this gold gel pen is laid down and color with the Tombow and it will separate around that gold gel pen and leave that design in place. So there we are. Still have the my tattoo for Starbuck and I'll come along and try to brighten it up just a little bit with that gold shell pen to make it a little bit brighter. And then the two non rain dropped shapes here are circles representing two planets. The one on the left is representing Caprica from the 12 colonies, which is attacked by the Cylons. And then of course they go in search of the mythical Earth. And so here on the right, I am putting in a very loose globe sketch of the Earth. And what I did do was just kind of separate them by putting the continents on the Earth sketch in gold. And then on the Caprica sketch, I put the oceans in gold and the continents in black. I was also making every effort to lay down all of the elements except for the gouache paint, leaving it for last so that it would have time to dry or I could see what I needed to change based on how the paint worked because I have not yet used this gold gouache paint. It came in a set with a bunch of other paints which have all worked great for me when I've used them and so I thought it would work well for this as well. And I'm hoping that it gives me better coverage than the gold gel pen and is just a little bit brighter. And as you can see, it is definitely giving me that shimmery look of gold that I'm going for. So I'm definitely happy about that. I am going to come along and do a second coat after getting all of this other gold filled in just to make it a little bit brighter and fill in some of the streaky lines from the paintbrush. As I'm laying down this gold gouache, it is not escaping me that the gouache paint is definitely a yellowy orange gold and that my gold gel pen seems to now have more of a greenish gold tint to it and that they do not match perfectly. And so those things that I can come over with the gouache and cover like the continents or the ocean on the planets, I do come along and add the gouache to those as well. 
here I'm going to get that second coat in just to make everything a little more consistent and brighter. I had the idea for this cover page literally months ago and so I'm really thrilled to see how it's turning out. I didn't want anything too complicated and detailed. I definitely wanted to have the elements from Battlestar Galactica but without it being a really heavily artistic spread. And as I said, I am going to brighten up these two planets, make the gold sort of the same color. I do make an attempt to come along and also add it to the tattoo there, as you can see. Um, I made one attempt, didn't really work for me. I do come back and make a second attempt at it and then abandon it and let it just stay the way that it is so that I don't mess up those thin lines on the tattoo. And then I did walk away for about five minutes to let this paint dry. I could have taken a hairdryer or a heat gun to it, um, but I am back from that little break and putting in a little touch up here and there and re-outlining some of my raindrops just to make sure that they pop. While doing these final touch ups, I also decided to add a little bit of contouring to each of the raindrops just to give them a little bit more depth. And since I added the black contouring to the gold raindrops, I will come along here in a minute and add gold contouring to the black raindrops. Watching this back, I'm definitely doing a little more primping and prepping and final touch moments than I usually do with my monthly spreads, especially in this work journal. But that is it. That is my April cover page for my work journal with Battlestar Galactica. I'm going to put a piece of paper here in between the two pages to make sure everything is dry and does not bleed, and then we will move on to the calendar page. I am keeping this calendar page fairly simple with a lot of room to write. I am an event manager by trade and business is beginning to pick back up as we plan for events in the back half of 2021 now that people are getting vaccinated. So I am putting in April header here at the top with just a few of my raindrops to tie in the theme in both black and gold. And for this page, I'm just getting a little bit of that gouache in there and it'll dry by the time I get done with the rest of the page. Up in the top right corner, I'm writing the word events. In the bottom left corner, I have written the word appointments. And that way I will keep those things uh, categorized. At the top of the page will all be events, at the bottom of the page will all be appointments. And then I am just going to do a horizontal linear calendar here across the middle of the page, listing the dates in April from the 1st through the 30th at the top, and then the days of the week underneath them. And then just to have a touch of a nod to Battlestar Galactica, I'm going to use this Tombow dual brush pen um, in gray. It is the N95. It is the lightest of lightest of grays. And I am going to do the outline of the Battlestar Galactica ship here around the calendar, color it in very, very lightly so that I can actually write over top of it and still be able to see what I have written. And as a sample of how this calendar will work for me, I am going to put in April Fool's Day here at the beginning of the month, just so you can see how we'll write in events and appointments moving forward. After a little highlight with the gold pen, I'll flip back and check on my cover page, erase my lines around the Battlestar Galactica just to see how that gray is coming through, and then we will move on to my focus and shifts page. This is a good place for me to mention that you would normally at this point be seeing me set up a whole new bullet journal for April. My work journals typically only last me three months or a quarter of the year. Obviously, as an event manager, since we've not had that many events, I have extra pages. And so we're going to continue to use this journal as opposed to setting up a new one. I'm hoping it'll get me through June. I'm pretty sure it'll get me through May. Um, and so we will see how that goes moving forward. If I was setting up a brand new journal, you would probably see me also establishing quarterly goals. Um, right now in the event industry, even looking forward by a quarter is really thinking positive. And so I am just gonna continue with setting up monthly goals. And then when things get 
quote unquote back to normal, I will look at going back to setting quarterly goals in my bullet journal for work. And of course, I could not do a Battlestar Galactica spread without the rallying call, so say we all. And so I have implemented it here above my work shift tracker. All right, so here on the left side of the page, I will put my goals or my focuses. I have focus one and focus two, so there will be a column for each one of those. And then down the right side, I will list week 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. I do start my weeks on a Monday, not a Sunday. And that means that for me and the way that my brain works, um, there are five weeks in April because week 14 has four of those days in April um, and week 18 has five of those days in April. And then on the right side, I do have my work shift tracker. So I track days that I'm in the office, days that I work from home, and days that I am on site with an event. So down the left side of that graph are working hours from 5 a.m. until 1 a.m. And yes, I can work any number of hours in that stretch. And across the bottom of that graph, I have the dates of 1 through 30. I then track my stress levels on a scale of 1 to 10 based on the same graph on the left. I am going to flip over to February here in just a moment and show you what one of these completed spreads looks like. I also post pictures of these completed spreads and all of my spreads on my Instagram account. You can also find me over there at Dots and Beyond as well. And just to finish off this spread, I have printed out the Battlestar Galactica logo on regular copier paper and just cut it out and I'm going to paste it in on this spread. And now I am moving on to the first week of April, which is week 14 for the year. I am keeping this setup very, very simple and very minimal. I am going to put a quote from the show on the bottom left of the page. But other than that, I am leaving most of the room for writing. Normally, I use two double spreads for my weeklies. Um, I'm trying to condense that down to save a little bit of space, and so we're going to see if this works. I have a standard set of Pigma Micron sizes that I use for my weekly setups. For the thicker setup lines, I use the 0.08. For the larger writing, I use the 0.05. And then to come in and put in the tiny little numbers on the mini calendar, I do use the 0.03. And as you can see, as I'm filling in this calendar, the visual of what I mentioned earlier on why I have five weeks in the month of April. And then the quote that I have chosen from the show to finish off this page is very applicable to my working life right now, even though I'm not being chased by Cylons. And that quote is, yes, we're tired. Yes, there is no relief. Yes, the Cylons keep coming after us time after time after time. And yes, we are still expected to do our jobs. I love being an event manager, but being one of the few standing after what I call the pandemic purge, things have been a little chaotic and we are a little tired. And I know we're definitely looking forward to having other event managers join us soon. As we flip back for the flip through, I want to thank you for joining me at Dots and Beyond today. If you found any of this helpful or if you like Battlestar Galactica, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe for future content. Again, I do have my fierce fictional female challenge going in my personal journal as well. And remember, if nobody has told you today, you too are fierce. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. Here are a couple more videos you might find interesting.